as we all know, even at the smallest hotels, the wackiest guests wait till the weekend. We had a guest check-in last night with me at the tail end of my shift. They booked the nicest, largest, and most expensive suite type we offer at our boutique hotel in mid-sized tourist city. There are very few who complain about the suite type just based on what it offers, it's a hell of a nice room. This lady has some care and energy checking in, but hey what problem could she have with the room, I figure. This lady comes down not ten minutes later, while I'm switching with N.A., screaming about a strange and dangerous man wandering the halls of that floor. N.A. and I immediately look at the cameras and get ready to call security. But then we see who it is. Security himself. The strange and dangerous man is our security guard who is even wearing a polo, cardigan, and khakis. He's a big dude, yes, but obviously a professional, and obviously not just some random dude, given the walkie he has as well. Ex-Marine walks with a precise military walk, all of it. She's demanding a full refund, claiming she doesn't feel safe because security is patrolling the floors. But ha, huh, she booked through an OTA, so she's not getting that refund over this that's for sure. She of course throws a total hissy fit over this at N.A. and I, saying we hired dangerous people. It is at this point, we played guess the race of the security guard and storms out. N.A. says she didn't return at all last night. She's not getting a refund either, obviously. People are wild. Imagine trying to explain to someone at the OTA you didn't feel secure because security patrolled the floors, but you just didn't like how the guard looked. Ugh. Want to submit a story or have some feedback for us? Visit talesfromtheinternet.show or send us an email at feedback at talesfromtheinternet.show.